Bell, folks. Another segment in the Shaker's Kitchen. Today we are doing swordfish. Milwaukee, well known as the Paris of the Midwest. Here we are. We're going to have a little fun with this. So uh, we're doing a very non-traditional style of swordfish, and it's a fusion if you want. Uh, a few different styles I picked up from different places. It just has really fresh flavors to it. And uh, we're also going to make this into the Oscar. So I'm going to begin by just getting a, a simple pan going on our induction. Get a little bit of water going there, just a touch of olive oil to help it along. So it could be simple with that, just a little butter. While we're doing that, I'm gonna get my lemon here, and I'm, I know people are gonna look at this and say, my gosh, that's a cheese knife. It is, but it works for this too. It just, it does a great job just taking off what I want, leaving the pith behind, and, and uh, I'm gonna take this lemon rind, And get a little dice with it. It doesn't have to be exact. And a few pieces that are a little bit coarser. So a combination between a dice and a chop. I have different textures going on here. So that's getting ready ahead of time. Butter up to speed right now. Just a simple butter, a little touch of salt and pepper in there as well. Just to move that along. And now our crab. So this is a backfin crab. It's a Maryland. Eh, we don't need too much. Summer's about two ounces or so right here. Just gonna get that up to speed. We can take it down right now because you don't need to really cook this. It's already steamed, it's pasteurized, it's marvelous. And now to the main event. A little speed here on our piri piri. Piri piri piri, piri is the Portuguese cut oil that we make in house. It's based on extra virgin olive oil, Greek olive oil, uh, a variety of herbs and spices. We'll include a recipe for you as well, but something that the Portuguese really created as they sort of navigated the world. Got chilies, peppers from different places, one of those being Angola. So uh, I'm going to take this as a serrano chili right here, using the same knife that I use for my lemon, for a jalapeno. I like diversity and flavors. We're gonna get some banana chili. This is a mild banana as well. So real simple, we're just seasoning our oil a little bit beyond what it was already. We're gonna take our swordfish boy now. This is a beautiful 10 pound piece. This is a Pacific sword. Um, we get the quality product here, obviously. It's not always the case, certainly in Milwaukee, but you have to have faith in your fishmonger. We'll take this slide and slide it right over there. But equally as good. I'm looking for something that's about an inch thick. If you're not sure what that is, take the blade of your knife and just roll it like that. Now. Uh, again, in fact, just by leaving the skin on, that's what we're going to do. Just stop the roll off. So with garlic, and smash that in. If you put that in too soon, garlic can become bitter. And even at this, we're going to uh, take off the chilies and the garlic in a few moments. I really just want to enhance the flavor of the oil that this is working in. So because this is primarily the Piri Piri, the Portuguese pepper oil, uh, I want to just build up the spasky a little bit. So I'm going to take uh, and a little dollop of butter and just kind of get that in there too. I just like the, the multiple tonality, if you will, of uh, the fat. So the crab is nice and fluffy and buoyant, and that's exactly where we want to keep that. I'll take it down to the lowest setting that I've got. And now at this juncture, we're going to take the chilies off of here, because I don't want them to scorch. I don't want burned chili or burned garlic on here. We're going to retain that for the presentation of the dish. So 
a variety of different ways to do this as well. Find what's comfortable for you, what gives you the best results for you and for your family. Recipes, in my mind, are just guides anyway to get you going. And uh, maybe a fun little picture to look at to see how something could look. But really, if you're the one that's cooking it, you should determine the flavors you want, how you want it to look, what you want to prepare with as well. So this is a rather a large hunk of sword, which you got to get the blade of a knife. So I'm going to guess it's coming in somewhere around 12 or 13 ounces, so a very healthy portion. Uh, maybe this would be an entree for two people. I'm uh, really a proponent of having fresh, ocean-going fish like this that's done to a, a medium complexion. Um, I'm not concerned about parasites, and you shouldn't be either, as long as you're getting a fresh product from the Russian right seafood house, which we do here at Shaker's. Because we're pan frying this, I generally have a tendency to play with it a little bit more and to move it around so I want to get as much flavor into both sides of this as I possibly can, as well as the edge. We'll get a little splatter effect going on too. Now, the beautiful thing about using butter is that it's going to get this little golden caramelization taking place up here. So that just enhances what you eat. It makes everything taste better. But before you get it into your mouth, you see it, you say, gosh, that looks good or something just like that. If at this point you wanted to uh, move this into an oven, you certainly could for a, you know, for doing pan roasting, uh, or you could be grilling this too. Due to the thickness, we've got another couple of minutes to go here. Along with this, we're going to have some papers, the buds of nasturtiums. It's uh, generally what these have been considered to be for years. you're not here to smell this because this truly smells delicious. It's a combination of the fresh fish, the butter, the chilies over there, that more garlic tone as well. It really is just absolutely sumptuous. I'm almost getting some of this, this marvelous tone coming off of that really light and flaky vacuum crab. sizzle. Yummy. If you want to take this and do this on a grill, you can certainly put it on skewers as well. Uh, marinate ahead of time, let it sub for 20 or 30 minutes longer if you want to. Um, garlic, certainly uh, any type of pepper you like or chili. Uh, onion works very nicely. Grill with both sides. Again, all you really have to have is a medium or medium well. That's what I'm looking for on this side of this beautiful golden complexion taking place. This little dollop of a mango puree that when you make in a house, you can buy this commercially as well. You can get fresh mangoes, you can process them down. It really doesn't matter at that point what you're doing because the flavors are gonna be pretty much equally as good. Stand it up for a moment. Now it's going to continue to cook, even though it's off temperature. You get a crab. Like all the foods at Shakers, this is an aphrodisiac. I'm going to take a little bit of the juice in this pan, marry it into my shrimp. the pan. Got some of our lemon here as well, so just that loosely on the top. And just take a little bit of our capers. 
And lastly, wakame. We like to use wakame whenever we can here. Lovely greens from the ocean, Pacific greens if you prefer. Here we have a lovely swordfish Oscar. Perfect for two people, your entree for tonight perhaps, or visit us at Shakers. Cheers.